guys. So I'm invited by my friends who are property agents and um, they're here to shoot the Exim Fiddlewoods project. So they brought me along and uh, come, let's check it out. So it's called Fiddlewoods. For those who are familiar with Exim projects, you know their projects always have a Z at the back there and they're finishing my impression of their projects is excellent finishing and the facades always look really really good so that's my impression that the, their projects has been spurring up along Oak Clang Road and all that so this one has a unique selling point which is the swimming pool at the rooftop has like a 360 degree view I mean apart from you having to come up with the structure but if you look from this position it is like 360 okay Ooh, what's that sound okay anyway let's check out they have a few layouts they have 800 square foot which is sold out 1002 which is still available and this is the biggest unit 1476 square foot 3 plus 1 bedroom and look at the layout so I'm now standing here at the foyer so once you come in from the foyer this is the dining of course the living this living looks really wide probably 14 16 feet not sure and a balcony this is pretty unique so this allows you to sit here and have a diagonal view out which is pretty unique instead of a flat one right and um, on the left you have one room with an attached bath and then here is the uh, wet kitchen this is pro this is definitely the yard area and then uh, this one is in like an ancillary room but you see hackable wall these walls are hackable and then this door leads into the principal bedroom or the master bedroom and with the bathtub attached not bad with the view okay and that's the master that's the the second room with uh, attached bath but it's shared with you know the visitor bath and this room also has an attached bath uh, pretty all right so when they say three plus one probably is this one because it's this is like a plus one that you can turn into you know a study or whatnot okay or you can hack it off to have a very large don't know what to do kind of space all right let's have a look um, where am I <laughs> I need to find my bearing even though I walk in here uh, it's not recognizable to what this is oh the entrance is there this is the balcony I'm sorry I actually walk in from the sky so this is the balcony this is the width of the living Right. let's start from here then so it's more easily understood so this is the foyer with your shoe rack and all that so I think there's some construction going up there because the showroom for Exim is actually at Empire City so if you do not know Exim took over the Empire, Empire City uh, very reputable developer Exim so they take over Empire which is good now as you enter you will see this is the dry kitchen or the island which is very nice I mean look at the layout that's your dining that's your living or you can have a super wide living which is which doesn't make sense you know if it's too wide it doesn't make sense and of course this is a showroom the height of the TV uh, doesn't make sense as well that's more like a photo frame kind of height not not for TV all right and uh, these sofas is a bit too small you can you can you can imagine that your living so far will be a lot larger which means the uh, the island won't be that protrude it will be slightly inwards a little bit more but the, the way they place the island is to flush it against the hackable wall so that there is more perceived space all right so you have to understand none of uh, these are not fully furnished units but from what I heard, whatever that comes in the kitchen is provided. Even the fridge is provided. 
that's as far as I know. Okay, so that will be the wet kitchen, which is, I think the size is enough for you to have space to put your other stuff. You know, you, you know, we have our our rice cooker, our Kowe water machine, or Kangen water and whatnot. And then you, you do your, your cutting and then your washing, preparation, cooking, you know, putting on the dish and all that. I think it's enough. The size is good enough to do a proper meal. I mean, a lot of youngsters these days don't do that. Now that's the yard. You can put your washing machine. See, there's a trap hole down there. All right. And over here, that's the dry kitchen. You still have a tap, you know, and you can put your coffee machine here and all that. And here. Of course, for me, I believe that for condo dwelling people, I always prefer the island to double up as the dining table. It saves a lot of space and it makes use of the, the, the island. I mean, for my home, I have a giant island as well and it doubles up as our dining table and the place where our kids do their homework and all that. It's like the family gathering area. So I save a lot of space doing that, okay? And this is really wide. My home is, is 16 feet. I think this is beyond that. I, I, I'm not able to measure because it's using this kind of vinyl floor. If it's using this kind of two feet ones, I can roughly measure, but I think this has to be at least 18, if not 20, I don't know. All right, let's go to this side. Now, what I like from this, from entering here, there's like, there's two wings, okay? Now, of course, if the left wing is more sizable, which can be made into the masters, then you get a sort of like a um, privacy from the kids. But this is, this is not the, the principal bedroom. It's not the principal bedroom, but, at least it's a small room but you can put a queen or a king a king would come out a little bit more and then you have your space for cupboard and then you have your own bathroom okay but if you're buying this and then you want to rent out you can definitely rent out this room okay anyway let's head to the right wing which is this is the the hackable wall it has been made into a room over here all right a small study space as you can see which is pretty unique uh, this finishing all right anyway but it's hackable this space is hackable but if you hack this space right if you give up this space then you it's impossible to use the entire thing all right so keeping it this layout is better and you have a study room or a home office is better I've been wanting a space to have a home office in my house but I couldn't all right here there's a door here which is the entrance to the master or the principal bedroom I will go into that later here would be the the second room here and you have full view and this attached toilet is the shared toilet your basically your guest toilet or guest bath and again I'm not sure but I assume all these are provided by the developer. Most, most toilets are provided except the cabinet and probably the one down there. All right, this room is all right. The size is reasonable. Uh, but if you were to need uh, a cupboard, then you can, you can see that it's gonna occupy this space and then you have no more space for a table or whatnot. All right, but I'm, I'm fine with this. I don't like condos where the rooms are too big. There's no point if your rooms are too big, you, they put the table inside, the study, everything inside, your kids gonna stay inside and you won't see them, right? Now, here is the principal bedroom where you have the cupboard. You have, you can put a mirror here. So it's sort of like a walk-in wardrobe and then you have the entrance to the toilet. This layout is very nice, all right? Because it's not a very big space, but through the utilization of space, is you are able to create a walk-in wardrobe with a mirror, with a mirror, and then the bath, and then the beautiful bathtub, all right, which is very, very nice. I believe this comes together with the unit. You have a shower over here, and then you have a view, and then you can say hi to your husband or wife while you're preparing. 
and then you walked out. This is this is not just nice for a dressing, and oh, that's nice. Next to the window, you have some space. You can put a, you know, like a, you can just lie down there, read a book or something, and that's the bit. So, yep, uh, pretty okay layout. If you look at the space of the unit, right, it's not a very deep unit. You know, a lot of condos, right, as you walk in, it's very long, but this one is more horizontal. All right, from here to there, you can. What I like about some units where the layout is like this, you have a very long space that, I kid you not, if you have a child that is four or five years old, you can play football with your kid at home. All right, um, yeah. So, yep, this is the layout of Fiddlewoods, the largest unit, uh, 1,476 square feet, about 1.3, 1.4 million. All right, it's location is at opposite of MyTech, which is included in the so-called uh, Kiara area, Mon Kiara nearby, Solaris and all that. All right, uh, check out the smaller units. Uh, there are smaller units, the 1002 one. Now this is the smallest unit, 889 square foot, 2 room, 2 bath. Enter the unit from here. This is more typical condo layout. Immediately you see the entire view all the way to the balcony. And that's the living. And here's the dining. And here's the kitchen. You don't have dry or wet because it's an 800, 800 plus square foot. Now this layout is sold out. It is sold out already. And I can see why. It's the utilization of space is also very good here. There are no wastage, no weird corners and all that. As you walk in, this is the kitchen. That's the yard, very straightforward. And uh, you know, your kitchen is split into two. However, this one sort of serves as a dry kitchen uh, island kind of way because there are no walls here. So it gives a very nice view over to that side. All right, now, the, the living is pretty wide, all right? So I think this is very nice to chill out. And then you have your dining over here, which allows conversations to flow naturally. And of course, walk in here. If this is the layout, you can also install a door, a door here for privacy, okay? That's one bedroom over here. And there's no bath attached. I mean, acceptable, given that this is only 800 plus square feet. There's a bath that is shared with, for the guest and of course for this room. And here would be the principal bedroom, which is pretty sizable, okay. You have your wardrobe, you have the bed over here, and then the bath, all this, all right. So it's a very logical layout, no wastage of space. And it's small, it's 889 square feet, but would it fit a standard now three-person family? Perfect, right? Husband and wife, the kid, done. There are so many single children families now, all right? So this one being 800 plus square feet, um, it's sold out because it's, it's reasonable. It's not too small for a family to stay. It is not too big to serve as a rental unit. To, to have return of investment. Okay, so I think that's the reason why this is sold out. So guys, I've shown you the small, smallest unit, 889 square feet. There is also the largest unit, 1,476 square feet. There's also another 1,200 plus square feet unit available. This is Fiddlewoods by Exim. Cheers. So this is the surrounding. As you can see, that's my tech. That's the famous building, Martrade, and this is where Fiddlewoods is. So it consists of two blocks, and uh, for modern development, you cannot expect it to be low rise. They are all of them gonna be, you know, 40 over stories. So this is where the sky pool is. All the facilities are concentrated up here. Down here is just a standard, you know, like garden kind of 
facility and uh, of course the driveway I need to look at the driveway I'm very particular with condo entry and exit because it's a daily thing all right so your entry exit is here and then you sort of roll your way up into the complex then only you do your climbing of different floors all right and um, yeah that's how it is now you can see the facing of the units all right so this one has one facing over here and then here and then this side and presumably as you can see this facing is facing this side so those are the shafts and the lift entry so there are no units here that are facing this block but there are units here and here facing one another but you still get a little bit of view here so if you are buying for investment or you want the lowest price range it should be those inside here that will be presumably cheaper than these with unhindered views okay I have no idea whether 800 square feet is position in which which units are 800 which units are the bigger ones that is a larger model let's go nearer to look at the entrance all right so this is called fiddle woods so immediately from outside you turn in all right that means condo residents in and out is from the inside oh these are not acceptable oh okay okay interesting maybe it's for bomba compliance because they need to be able to drive around all right or is there a lobby ah there is there are so see it's multi-level parking here these are garden playground facilities for kids to run around but generally what I can see is this is the entrance and exit okay uh, one for residents one for visitors of course there are some space on the sides I'm not sure about the utilization but uh, you need some space right because provide uh, okay another thing that I do not know I'm not sure if it's running some uh, more advanced app system or whatnot because now modern condos right you all have the QR code and all that so if you're a visitor instead of queuing up with everybody else and then the queue would lead out to the to the main road but if it's using advanced systems you just drive in and then you scan and then you're in so far I have no idea how the uh, whole lobby situation is but these don't represent the actual thing nevertheless they might have a drive through for you know grab Shopee and all that that I do not know yet okay this level the facility deck you can see the gyms and some halls all right and um, here what do I see basically facilities yoga deck is over there some patches of you know open air patches uh, some small playgrounds all right now that would be the towers so just now what I was pointing out is yeah these units inside usually their per square foot should be slightly lower and look at that that was used as the lift shafts and all that so there are no units hidden in there with no view uh, or I can say Mon Chiara view <laughs> or KLCC view see the problem with Mon Chiara and KLCC and the actual Mon Chiara I'm saying the actual Mon Chiara is so dense now there are I have friends where when they buy they get full view but after that everything gets sprouted up right they are they are literally looking into the facade of their neighbors right there's no view at all um, KLCC as well right they pay so much and then boom one tall building right next to them and last time they pay a premium for KLCC view and it's gone right so for this one at least here you get view here you get view and all that and here's the main road but of course there are there are land parcels around so when you are choosing your fa your 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 facade which which one you are facing you have to take note of that as well okay so Madrid is here my tech is here 
MRT is here. Where is? Oh, number six is Fiddle Woods. It's here. So if your facing is here, it's pretty mature. Nothing else will block your view. Here is MRT. Yes, it's going to be noisy, but it won't be a tall thing that blocks your view. Is it that big MRT, bigger than my tent? Hmm, I'm not sure. And then for this facing, you have another land parcel over here. But overall, I think, look at the shape, the shape, the shape, the shape of it. Let me look at the shape. This is slanted here. So, uh, does it point out the north-south facing? Okay, this is facing north. This side is facing north. So, this is facing north and south. So, when the sun rises from here, yeah, so these units, yes, you have unhindered view, but the sun rises from this side. So, you get a morning sun over here, and these units get the evening sun. So, you can put some tinting or whatnot, okay? But this unit will get the north. And then these get the south view, so which is all right. Now the facing. Let's look at the facing. I need to understand what I'm looking at. Yeah. So is this north south oriented? Uh, I believe it should be. I'm not sure, but it should be. Anyway, so this is how it looks like. Uh, Exim projects always have a beautiful facade. And their older projects like leaves, rains and all that are still holding up really nicely. All right. Unlike some other developers that uh, likes to get fancy. And then, yeah, let's look at the facilities. Uh, of course, they have like bonfire deck, sky garden. So as a committee member of my condo for a few years, I look at condo now, I look at how easy they are to maintain. All right. Like this one, I specifically asked them, is this like a real ice thing? They say, no, it's, it's just the theme. So if it's just the theme, means maintenance won't be high. I think out of these, the only thing that is higher in terms of maintenance down the road, five years, six years down the road, it will be the sauna, which is the sky bath. The pool is all right. I mean, pool, you build the structure, and then uh, this one, the pumps and all that, all right. All these are doesn't cost much for the for the residents to maintain so which is good but of course the flora and fauna and all that you need to spend money for for your gardeners and all that to, to do it up nicely yoga that costs nothing to maintain Sela dining arctic dining these are just themes it's just the the furnitures right the thing would be id company designing these everything comes in one set few years down the road when you need to replace them you might not be able to find the exact matching pair. So that's just how it is, all right? Uh, there are themes including a pretty Mediterranean theme. If you look at it, there's Japanese, yes. There's Greek, all right? And that's like Turkey. That's like, I don't know. Basically Mediterranean, if you look at the theme, Santorini, all right? So very nice. but. The flower and all that, <laughs> you need to spend a lot of money to take care of it. Uh -huh. um, playground, very nice, professionally. I mean, these are done by professional companies that design playgrounds, you know. So, it's alright. So far, I don't, in terms of the density, I mean, it's not crazy high dense in modern days, but it's not too low dense until it it puts a pain on residents when it comes to uh, paying for you know, lift car replacement and all that. All right, so yeah, I think, I think the developer is pretty prudent in a way because these are just ID treatment. ID to look like Japan, ID to look like Morocco, Moroccan, you know, ID and I, uh, this is a gym room and uh, nothing much to maintain, just a pool and a steam bath, yeah. Compared to those with karaoke, golf, putting, or you know, cinema and all that, those cost a lot to maintain. All right. Now, in terms of location, as I mentioned just now, there's a lot of land parcel around, so uh, I don't think these are protected areas. So, if it's 
very green now, you can foresee things will start sprouting up. But no choice, you're in the heart of KL, right? Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good location because you are so near to Monkara, so near to Publica, so near to KL downtown, you know, and especially people from Kepong, from Selayang and all that, right? You can buy into this area as well, all right? And my tech is here. My tech serves no purpose. It's not like it's a big shopping mall, right? So it doesn't it doesn't provide anything to 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 the residents here. But given that this is an important uh, world, you know, kind of facility, uh, LRT will be here to serve this the need for this. Then it makes sense that you are next to to LRT or or MRT for that matter. All right. So yeah. Traffic, I mean, it's downtown. This is literally almost downtown. So, so traffic, you can expect, is going to be... It's not going to be sparse in any way. Okay, that's Fiddle Woods. And uh, I'm Bobby Up. If you haven't met me... Yeah, I review cars, I review properties. Basically, what I review, I review things that car owners will buy. Working adult car owners will buy glasses, buy watches, buy property, buy cars, buy computer. Yeah, basically those are the things that I love sharing. Cheers.